What is good? This video is gonna be short, but I want to speak about nature versus nurture and maybe some of the key differences in my thoughts because I was reading it was a Jocko Williams book <laughs> and ebook actually and he talks about nature versus nurture and which one is more important and he said that none are more important than the other there's no one is not more important than the other one of them it all depends on choice so I thought about this and I kind of wanted to break down what I personally thought of it and so I guess the first step would be to describe what nature versus nurture is right? nature would be something that you were inher inherently born with right like a, a skill or kind of some kind of you already have cultivated, you're, you were born with that skill already. You're natural at talking, you're a natural smart person or you're a natural genius, whatever it is. These skills, right? You're just born with it. You're, you're just ingrained with that. And so you don't have to try too hard in those skills. But then there's also nurture where, you know, the environment affects a lot of how you perceive things. So if you're in environments where there's a lot of successful people, then naturally you're gonna start resonating a lot with that and you're gonna start changing some things about what you do and what you say to be a part of the community because at the end of the day, we're all social beings and we all wanna be a part of the community, right? And so we want to adapt with the environment that we're in. So, so that being said, nature versus nurture. We have these two different forms of skills, right? So if you have nature, and we're born with it, and then we have nurture where you're, you adapt it based off the environment, which one is more important? Well, neither, because it really is just about choice. If you think about it, if you are naturally good at speaking, right? Then sure, you can be good at speaking. And the issue though with the nurture is that if you're not being put in an environment where your speaking skills actually make an impact, right? If you're put into, if you're nurtured into an environment where it's not having any kind of results, right? You're maybe around people who are not very successful. And then what happens is that your skills have no use because you're not in that environment. So it's almost a double-edged sword in a way where you have both these skills. You can be in a nurture where you grew up in a very good environment, but your skills of talking aren't that good. Right, so you were naturally born social, but you were, you grew up in a social, you know, very high high status group of people. Well, what happens is that, and this is what I think. This is what I think. They would grow up thinking that they always have access to this, which may be true. Maybe they will have access for the rest of life, but what they won't have access to is the choice to decide that they can change and improve something that they want. So maybe they suck at communicating, but they're like, oh, I'm good. I don't have to communicate because all my people will take care of me. But maybe to a certain point in their life, they realize that may not be the case and they're in a situation where their skills matter and their social status does not, and then they're kind of screwed. So at that point, that's where it wouldn't really matter nature versus nurture because you never practiced that skill, right? You, don't, you never actually took the time to be like, hey, let me actually develop this because it's by choice to develop that skill. It's not, you're born with it and you're done. Or you were, grew up in an environment where it's easy to get access to things, but you don't even try. Because it's gonna buy you in your ass pretty much if you don't even try to cultivate some fundamental skills. And so I do agree with that fact. I do think it's a bit more, advantage, uh, more advantage, uh, advantageous to grow up with a certain natural vibe, cer certain natural trait that you have, right? I think we all, we're all born with a certain vibe, certain energy that when it gets expelled to the world, you, people see that and they might describe that as funny, he's so funny or he's hilarious or he's so good at speaking. But I think we ultimately it's that energy that gets transferred. So some people might have different energy levels than others in different fields, which is a huge advantage, right? But that doesn't mean you can't get to something else, another area, if you don't, it's all by choice. You wanna get better at something, you get, you, you get better. Maybe you're good at speaking, but you realize that you didn't tap into your energy, so you need to find a way to develop those skills, to release some, maybe some trauma, 
through the nurture, right? Because you grow up, maybe you grew up in a bad environment and you grow up and you hold back a lot of what you're naturally born to do or you're naturally skilled at. But you don't because your nurture self, how you were nurtured when you grew up, follows you up to not expel the energy to other people. So I think both of those are very double-edged. They both have the pros and cons it's just with everything. But you have to be able to know that you want to improve and develop those skills in order to get to the next level. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this background. We got a beautiful background here, guys, for you guys. I was looking around to find new spots to record. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful background. This is the campus of ASU, very beautiful campus. And we are out here, guys. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what else you guys wanna see, right? I'm just off the dome, I'll come up with these videos and then share it to you guys so you guys can see and digest it and maybe suggest improvements or what you like or what you don't like, right? But anyways, we'll talk soon, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Rest of your Sunday. Peace.